Hello. Uh, well, Woolen Gabba is thought to be Brisbane's most affordable inner city apartment market and was voted as one of Australia's best investment suburbs two years running in 2014 2015 by Your Investment Property magazine. That's why we are excited to tell you about South City Square, right in the heart of Woolen Gabba. A mixed-use, multi-stage neighbourhood development offering apartments, a hotel, supermarket, boutique cafes, restaurants and cinema, all surrounding a 5,000 square metre open recreational space. South City Square has attracted plenty of local interest. In fact, stages one and two are sold out and are under construction, while stage three is due to be released to the public later this month. Joining me now to talk about this exciting development and the family business behind the development is Nando Pelicano of the well-known and highly respected Pelicano Group. Nando, thanks for your time. No problem, Kevin. Good to be here. Nando, building and development, of course, has been in, in your family for generations. Tell me a bit about the history of how the family business was founded in Australia and, and how it's developed since then. Uh, yeah, so back in 1967, my father and my uncle uh, started the business um, as bricklayers, so just as teenagers uh, in Melbourne in a suburb called Oakley. Um, so originally started out just building um, some homes and some, some sort of uh, three-storey uh, units for, for external uh, con- uh, clients and contractors. Um, and from there, uh, they, they developed a business and, and moved into developing their own projects. Um, firstly, in, in residential projects, and, and the business continued to grow. And in the early mid-80s, they expanded into commercial, industrial and retail. Um, and from there, uh, developing our own business parks, um, and then a lot of the projects we developed, we then um, started to retain ongoing ownership of, long-term ownership. So from that, uh, we started to build up a property portfolio in the, in the early 90s. Um, and then fast forward to today, where uh, a builder, a developer, uh, a long-term uh, property investor with a lot of the projects that we create, um, and across Melbourne and uh, Brisbane. Yeah, well, it's, it's been an amazing uh, transformation, amazing growth. I, there's no doubt that the brothers could never have seen what's happening today. Could you tell me why they, why they chose Melbourne to move to? Uh, well, they probably didn't have much choice in, in the matter. That's where their, um, their parents chose to come to. So um, a lot of Italians at the time were, were making the move to, to Melbourne. So... They, they came out to Melbourne, uh, my father was nine years old, so that was sort of in the, in the 50s, um, but shortly thereafter, their father passed away, so um, they sort of had to uh, leave school and, and, and start, the, start the business. He was also um, in, in the construction industry, so they'd already had a bit of an upbringing in that sector, and so they had to go off and, and stuff. And, yeah, make, make a living, I suppose. Well, as you said, uh, Melbourne, of course, was the base. The business has grown to be phenomenal now. It's one of Australasia's leading award-winning developers. It's, it is unique also in that it is privately owned. It's a family business. How is the business structured now, Nando? My father has uh, two boys, being myself and, and my other brother, Antonio, who are in the business. And my uncle, Nods, also had two, two sons um, who are also in the business. So... The four of us of the next generation um, are all managing directors now, so we sort of deal with all the, all the day-to-day running of the business and um, we're sort of evenly spread across construction, uh, property and uh, finance. Nando, what, what words would you use to describe the company? Being a family business, values, uh, integrity, um, reputation is, is very important for, for us and it's always at the forefront of our of our minds, obviously the name of the company is is our surname. So we're very proud of what um, my father and my uncle have been able to create and, and achieve. And um, you know they always remind us that you know a reputation takes years to build, but it can be gone in in a matter of minutes or hours. So um, we're always very conscious of making sure we our our, our last development is, is, is the best it can be um, because we are vertically integrated with construction and development and, and also long-term property ownership. We really do look at each part of the process, the design phase, you know, we're, we're, we're 
spend the extra time and, and you know, I suppose the attention to detail to make sure we're putting in the right plant and equipment, the right materials that are going to last the test of time um, because obviously as the builder, if things do go wrong, you have to go back and fix them anyway. So mm. rather than trying to save a bit of more bit of money up front um, but then having potential issues, we'd rather spend a bit more money up front and then reduce the ongoing issues down the track. So they're really those family values and morals are very important to us and that sort of filters through into the, how we approach the business. Yeah, I was going to ask you why someone would choose to buy uh, a product from, from your group, but you've probably given me a, a great number of those reasons why they would do it. I, I'm going to mention in a moment too about how you can have the opportunity to meet Nando at a special function we're going to put on in Brisbane, but I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Just moving on, if I could, Nando, what are the challenges you see facing development companies now and, and what are the plans for Pelicano in the future? Well, there's always, there's always challenges in any business, daily, weekly, monthly. Um, Probably at the moment, um, for people who are reading the newspapers, there's probably a bit of a pullback from the from the banks on on funding and, and who they are going to fund and, and what they're going to fund. Um, so fortunately for us, um, the fact that we have been in business for 49 years, it's our 50-year anniversary next year, um, we do have long-standing relationships uh, with all the major banks um, and we're very well supported by them. So that should... Um, hold us in, in, in good stead, but that's probably one of the, the biggest challenges I would think at the moment mm. for, for developers in, in, in getting projects off the ground would be probably from a funding point. Yeah, I know that's causing a lot of concern with consumers too, and I'm so glad you mentioned that point because that's probably one of the key reasons I would think that someone would be very confident about buying um, into the product we're talking about uh, in Wool and Gabba. Um, can I just, just in closing, talk to you about Wool and Gabba because that's the reason we are holding that function on the 4th of August and I'll give you the details on that in just a moment. But I'm really keen to hear from you about why you chose South East Queensland in particular, why you chose the Wool and Gabba market. The wider South East Queensland market, we have been um, developing and, and building in Brisbane for over 10 years. Um, we've had an office up in Brisbane since 2007 um, we've always liked Brisbane and, and what it has to offer and also South East Queensland, um, population growth. If you look at the long-term trends, population growth, employment growth, um, infrastructure spending, um, there's, there's, got, there's got a lot of things going for, the, for it and also it's, it's affordable um, in, in many areas when you compare it to, to where Sydney and Melbourne currently are. So Brisbane, more specifically, has always had a, a big tick for us and then um, I suppose looking at opportunities um, and, and where to invest our money because it's no different to whether investors looking to buy one apartment, it's the same approach we take as developers on where do we buy development sites, it's where, where can we find value for money um, in areas where there's good employment growth, uh, good population growth, some infrastructure spending um, and good infrastructure already in place and Wall and Gabba ticks all those boxes. Um, it's already got great transport. Um, it's got some, some great employment generators uh, with some major hospitals nearby as well as the, the CBD. Um, the, um, the rental market from a residential point of view is, is strong. Um, there's always good demand and it's affordable. Um, you know, to be two kilometres from the CBD where, and where the price points are in Wollongabba we found very attractive. So um, we're very confident on Wollongabba. We're Wollongabba's largest developer. Um, South City Square is actually our fourth project uh, within Wollongabba, so we're, we're, we're tried and tested in the area. Um, our first project was Eastwood, uh, which was 84 apartments, um, which we finished a few years ago. Um, we then completed uh, a Quest Hotel of 132 rooms, um, which is also on Logan Road in Wollongabba, and we, we retain ownership of that asset still in, in one line. Um, and the reason we've retained ownership of it is because we still see some really good capital growth over the next five, ten years. Um, and then a project we just recently completed, Trafalgar Lane, um, which settled last week, uh, was 150 apartments and 2,000 metres of commercial retail. And again, we've retained ownership of the commercial and retail component of that building um, in our long-term property portfolio. 
Yeah, well, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to get up close and personal with Nando at a special real estate talk event that we'll be holding on Thursday, 4th of August. Now, uh, you can hear me talk to Nando once again live on stage and we'll also be joined by Malcolm uh, Aikman, who is the director of property consultancy firm Urbis, who specialise in property planning and design. Now, I plan to discuss with uh, both gentlemen uh, the Brisbane market fundamentals, which areas are going to perform well, uh, what to look for in apartment development and lots more. Now, it's going to be a great opportunity for you to learn a lot more about this very vibrant Brisbane market. You can book your seat now by visiting realestatetalk.com.au or use the panel below. Nando, I'm really looking forward to catching up with you. There's so many more questions I want to ask you about the Brisbane market, about developing generally, but it's been yeah. great spending some time with you today and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it, Kevin. Thank you.